Ducks Unlimited Television is presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting in association with Mossberg Firearms. Built rugged, proudly American. Welcome to Ducks Unlimited TV. I'm Ashley Ward. If you're a kid today, you've probably heard of Dude Perfect, the hilarious and phenomenally successful YouTube sensation. With more than 18 million subscribers, they have a powerful platform to reach young people. On this episode, they join Ainsley Beeman, John Paul Morris, and some local DU Green Wings in Missouri for duck hunting, skeet shooting, and some great fishing. Next on DU TV. We talked about the opportunity to maybe get uh, a trip lined up to come to our place here in Missouri, and I was really excited to host both DU and the Dude Perfect guys this week. If you don't know what Dude Perfect is, we started in 2009. Five guys we met at Texas A&M started making some videos for fun, but we essentially do a combination of trick shots, maybe some of those shots that you've seen where someone throws a basketball off a tall building into a basketball goal. Or more recently, we've, we did a hunting stereotype, for example, where we poke fun at all the different types of hunters that are out there. We do sports and comedy that's family friendly and we have a blast while we do it. When I got the call to go to Missouri and hunt with John Paul and the Dude Perfect guys, I was thrilled. You know, I've heard John Paul talk about his property and the way that he managed it, and just the opportunity to get to go there and visit with them was something I was really looking forward to. We've had this property here in Missouri since 1990 and over the years we've worked to enhance the waterfowl habitat and we've continued to start holding more and more birds every year. Was really excited. Some of the Dude Perfect guys are big hunters. A couple of them have never duck hunted before. So it was really exciting to have those guys to experience duck hunting for the first time. This morning was my uh, first duck hunt with the dudes, well really ever. Pretty excited for this morning to get up and uh, kind of see the, how the whole process started. Supposedly, we kind of got it good because Tyler and JP went out, put all the decoys out for us, which was nice. We got to stay, in, uh, stay by the fire, drink some more coffee for a little bit longer. So our first morning, we had seven layout blinds brushed in and ready for the hunt. Unfortunately, when we got out there, the wind had switched a little bit and the ducks didn't want to be on that part of the levee. So we decided our best bet is to pick up our decoys and make a move to the trees. It was a little slow. They were spotting us out. I think it was probably Cody. He's probably just too big for his blind. His head was probably sticking out. Either that or Tyler just wasn't quite used to calling in these Missouri birds. I think he may have his calls dialed into Texas mode. For whatever reason, they were a little slow, so we moved across the water. Got a chance to try out my waders. I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I don't think we had a camera on it, which is probably good, but I almost face planted. Ducks on Limited Television, presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting, Mossy Oak Shadow Grass Blades, the official camo of Ducks Unlimited and Ducks Unlimited's Rescue Our Wetlands campaign, banding together for waterfowl. Had a couple things working against us. There wasn't a lot of wind, it was really still, so we didn't have a lot of movement in the spread. Finally got a jerk string out there on some decoys and that helped. Had the first bird come in, take credit for that one.
it. Do I give him the small piece or the big piece that I broke? I I'll give you the big piece. You're a big man. Thank you, my good man. Tyler keeps apologizing for his duck call mistakes, and I'm definitely not catching him. <laughs> Got a little froze up there. Mm. What happened? We had a duck almost land on Kobe's barrel. Okay. He didn't shoot. <laughs> and so JP came in, saved the day. And when the sun came out, it was like we flipped a light switch. The ducks started working our decoys and wanting to come in. Even though it only lasted for a short while, we were thankful for the few ducks that we got an opportunity at. Watch this green head in front. People who are heavily involved in the outdoors, like hunters, are more likely to give back to our wildlife resources. Getting youth involved at an early age is investing in the future of conservation leadership. Ducks Unlimited has several ways to get kids involved. Our Greenwing program is for all youth 11 and younger who want to participate in the conservation, restoration, and management of wetlands and other habitats. The DU Varsity program helps high school age volunteers organize DU chapters in their schools. These young volunteers take part in the many leadership and networking opportunities the program provides, in addition to supporting DU's mission and learning about conservation. Ducks University is for college students who want to play an important role in Ducks Unlimited's mission. More than 100 college chapters across the country are providing significant support for conservation while also serving as networking and social hubs at many schools. Many of these young men and women will go on to become leaders in their communities and lead and conservation. You can find out more about DU's youth programs at ducks.org. DU Insights is brought to you by Mossy Oak Properties. Find your favorite place at mossyoakproperties.com. DU TV is powered by Mossberg Firearms. Built rugged, proudly American. Mossy Oak Properties, America's land specialist. Kent Cartridge, performance, quality, tradition, biologic, Scientifically proven wildlife products. Higdon Outdoors. Quality, customer service, innovation. That's Higdon Outdoors. And Purina Pro Plan. Nutrition that performs. Oh, oh wow. It's team effort out here. Oh, very nice. Good job, Core. Even though the duck hunt was a little slow the first morning, we're always gonna find some way to have fun, so we decided let's go fishing. Most of the smack talk's probably well deserved. Caught zero fish yesterday. I'm gonna try to set some records today. Try to put the other guys in their place. You know, I'm not coming from a lot of experience, but beginner's luck could strike today. And I'm feeling good about that. There we go, in the boat. JP and Ty take the early lead. <laughs> As usual with the Dude Perfect crew, almost everything is a competition. So while we were out trying to catch dinner, we had a little friendly competition between boats. I'm on, big fella. Get him in, Jeffy T. 
serve up a little dinner with him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Our cooler's getting full, boys. Making moves, boys. Oh, oh, oh golly. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think we got the automatic winner. No, it's not a card. Yeah, hey, they can't beat us with this one. Got it. Just throw him in the boat. Woo! Yeah, yeah, you boys aren't going to beat us now. <laughs> oh, my God. Big musky. Thank you, old fish. There he goes. <laughs> nice catch. Awesome, dude. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, Kobe. Ah. Kobe's on the board. Great B. Thank you, guys. I think he caught more trees than he did fish, but uh, he brought it in at the end with one of the biggest fish of the whole day. Feels great. Guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I just caught a fish. It's a great feeling. Wow. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Folks, it's important to note that I did not get zero fish, as Cody predicted. I came out with one beautiful fish. Okay? So take that, Codes. You know, one of the things that I love most about Ducks Unlimited is their passion to invest and introduce kids to the outdoors. Certainly something that has played a big role in my life and John Paul's as well. So the second morning we got to actually have a group of kids come out and hunt with myself, John Paul, and the Do Perfect guys. Oh, kind of a professional. Tell me I don't look like a brush or a tree. We got the big ninja with us this morning. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Rock and roll. Let's do this. Yeah, getting here it was great. You could really feel the energy in the air for 4.30 in the morning. It was really great because a lot of the Do Perfect guys were really, you know, bringing the energy. There are three things you really should do with a new gun before you take it hunting. The first thing you need to know, how your gun works and does it work. That even can be a safety concern. So make sure you take it out to the range, familiarize yourself with the gun and how it works, shoot it to make sure it does work. Second thing you want to do is clean the gun. When a gun comes to you from the factory, a lot of times there's grease from shipping and packing on the gun. Sometimes it can be enough to cause a malfunction. Take a gun apart, clean off any grease I see. I pay special attention to the firing pin. A lot of times there's oil and grease in there and grit. A little drop of brake free, something like that, down the firing pin hole will clear that gunk off. And then the final thing you need to do, shoot your gun, make sure it shoots straight. Most guns come from the factory shooting straight. Not all of them do. Take to the range. We're not checking gun fit here. We're checking to make sure the gun shoots straight. Put it on sandbags and just make sure that your point of aim and your point of impact are the same. Make sure you know how your gun works. Make sure it does work. Clean it. Make sure it shoots straight. Then take it hunting. Duck Gun is presented by Mossberg Firearms. Built rugged, proudly American. DUTV is brought to you by Bush Hog, performance you can count on. Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting, native nurseries, hand-selected, hand-grown plants for wildlife. Buck Gardner Calls, champion of champions, with closed captioning provided by Mossy Oak Shadow Grass Blades, the official camo of Ducks Unlimited. Where do you bring your air from? How do you actually blow a duck call? Because you don't blow like you're trying to blow out birthday candles when you blow a duck call. It's a totally different way of presenting your air. 
What I tell little kids to start with is if you went over to the window and wanted to fog the window when it was cold, you would go up to it and <sighs> blow hot air. And when you're doing that, it's coming from your diaphragm. When you pick up a duck call and you just blow into it, you get <laughs> If you use your diaphragm to push the air up, you can <sighs> It's hotter air and it comes out, it's easier to control. You can instead of Once you start to blow from your diaphragm and quit puffing out your cheeks, then you're on the road, direct shot into air control and how to do it. Duck Tactics has been presented by Buck Gardner Calls, champion of champions. Well, we split up in a couple groups this morning and it was just a rainy, overcast morning. One group was in a blind, I took my group, we kind of went gorilla style. We set up on the side of this big lake in the rain. You know what? None of the kids ever complained, even though the birds weren't maybe coming in as well as we would have liked. We all sat out there and had a good time, stuck it out through the rain. Get him. Yeah! And shoot. Roscoe. You know, even though the conditions weren't perfect, I really enjoy getting to sit there and visit with Olivia, learn about her upbringing in the outdoors, her time that she spent with her dad. That's something that I can definitely relate to. And she was just such a precious young lady and I just really enjoy getting to visit with her. My dad got me involved with hunting. One of my older sisters and I usually go hunting. We go deer hunting, duck hunting, turkey hunting. We've been going with him before we could even really actually hunt. Good boy, Roscoe. Since we're all about having fun, even though the duck hunt was a little slow this morning, when the rain quit, we took all the kids and the Dude Perfect guys and we went out and shot some clays. It was really fun. I think all the kids had a blast. I had a blast just watching, cheering them on. We were shooting lots of clays and having lots of laughs. He's the king of <laughs> Big fan of hanging out with kids and getting an opportunity with the platform we've been given to kind of give back. So we're excited to meet those guys. The point of this whole trip was just to introduce these kids to the outdoors a little bit more, teach them something about safety and hunting. While our conditions may not have been the best, we did have a lot of fun together and in the end, that's all that matters. What's up guys, thanks for watching Ducks Unlimited TV, signing off for now. Copes, hit him with a pounding. Pound it. Core, hit him with a noggin. Noggin. See ya! 
Many thanks to John Paul and the Dude Perfect crew. Getting kids involved in the outdoors and conservation is mission critical for Ducks Unlimited. We encourage you to do your part by taking a kid hunting this year. Meantime, please visit us at ducks.org and see you again soon on DUTV.